All right, so we have two power glide gear sets here, um, 187 ratio, uh, steel carrier, aluminum carrier, and uh, we don't make videos all the time here at ATI. We're better at making parts, but I just wanted to kind of go through this and show somebody what these options actually entail, what they look like, what they sound like. So we'll start with our regular power glide gear set, all steel. This one is uh, ready to be sold. We'll put it on here. Flange gear pressed in. 20 and a half pounds. So this is aluminum carrier, and these are coated gears, no weight change there, obviously, and then a little bit of a gun drill in an OEM shaft. You can't get too big in an OEM shaft. So we also have this cut uh, specifically for the amount of reverse clutches, which in this case is four instead of five, which is standard. 17.2 from 20 and a half and that's uh, direct rotating weight accelerated weight and uh, you carry that with you the whole way down the track so so we'll go um, you know the next thing I want to really look at is the coating in here and uh, and we've been doing this coating for a while when people ask for it or for specific options and you can kind of see the difference especially when it's when it's up close and, and see the difference in the gears but the real difference is, is spinning it and being able to hear it. So we'll set these down and I'll grab uh, the bearing is there, it's in both of them. So we'll stick this in here. And just kind of, I'll give it a spin and just kind of remember how long it spins for. Them. So we'll put that down and we'll, we'll grab the aluminum carrier coated one. Bearings there, everything's the same. There's no oil in either of them. And you can kind of see it spin a good bit easier. And then we also do it on the reverse ring gear on the inside. Oops, forget that part. Enough to give you an idea of the difference between the coating and the aluminum carrier so it's a lot easier to see that stuff in in real life than just look at it in a, in a catalog but um, the the gear coating option is about 300 bucks and the aluminum carrier option is 395 and uh, depending if you're starting new or you're going with a, a gear set you already have and having us updated so Hope that uh, helps people make some decisions. You spend uh, spend a lot of money for horsepower, and then to have to turn the extra weight. I uh, just wanted to let you have that in mind. Thanks for watching.